Well, it's Groundhog Day, so you know what that means. Wyrton Willie made his prediction. But what's the story behind Wyrton Willie? In 1956, a man by the name of Mac McKenzie sent out 50 invitations to friends and family for a special Groundhog Day festivity. And one of those invitations wound up in the hands of a Toronto Star reporter who came out for the event. He didn't find a big festive atmosphere, but he did find McKenzie and his friends drinking in the local pub, and he joined them. The next day, he didn't have any sort of story to actually justify the expense, so Mac took his wife's fur hat, made a little burrow in the snow, and they took a picture. The following year, 50 people, including 25 reporters, came out to Wyerton for the next Groundhog Day event. But there was no actual event, so Mackenzie just went and invented a festival. That festival became a yearly tradition. As for Wyerton Willie, he didn't actually appear until the 1980s, and he would actually live 22 years until he passed away in 1999. And one interesting fact about that is he died two days before Groundhog Day. So the organizers had to do something. And what they did was they got a stuffed groundhog, they put coins over his eyes, and they put him into a tuxedo and put him into a casket. Unfortunately, that wasn't the actual Wyrton Willie, because the Wyrton Willie that had passed away was decomposing. And this would actually result in kind of a mini scandal that made nationwide news. Eventually, Wee Willie took over, and he served until 2006 when he passed away. Wyrton Willie III took over, and he served until 2017. And then Wyrton Willie IV took over, and he served until 2020 when he passed away, although his death wasn't announced until November of 2021. Today, the Groundhog Day festivities in Wyrton are a huge event with 10,000 people coming out. There's pancake breakfast, a Monte Carlo night, parades, much more. It's massive, and it all started because one guy just wanted to have some fun with his friends and family, and a reporter from Toronto showed up. 